Another one of these weak toilets. Oh, you don't know what you're going up against? Yes, I do. You're just a stupid turkey. Nah, bruh. I'm the most powerful toilet in the game. The other powerful one I met, it was like 3 million HP. Nah, bro. I'm nothing like that. Okay, then how much health have you got? Bruh! I've only got 40 million HP. Yo, I realized that a literal robotic turkey head in a toilet shouldn't have 10 times more health than a scientist toilet. So now you've been nerfed to 4.1 million HP. Bruh. So now you've only got as much health as my normal form. Well, yes, but I also have the ability to stun literally everything on the map and also have 41 million HP if there's five players. Oh, if there are four players, I get 65 million health. Okay, bruh, but guess what? What? I can stun you too. <laughs> Huh, you don't look very powerful. Bruh, I'm one of the most powerful towers. You don't really look like it, but okay, what do you do? Bruh, okay, well I just shoot out, uh, I don't even know, but it does a lot of damage. That's boring. I shoot out five different types of attacks, and four of them are made from different types of sacrifices. Okay, that's cool, and how much damage do you do? Bruh, what, how do you do so much? It ain't that much, how much do you do? Yo, dude, I'm better than that guy. Ah, uh, yes, a little spider TV is better than a giant upgraded titan, that makes sense. Yeah, lol, I literally am, I do. That's kinda good, but it ain't really since I do 255k DPS. Hold on, bro, you gotta meet a guy. Bro, why am I meeting a black robot? Do not ever say that ever again, I'm the most powerful tower. You can't be more powerful than me, I'm literally OP. Okay, bro, what do you do? Well, I just shoot out a pewy pewy purple laser from the middle of my chest. That's cool, and how much damage do you do? Well, I'm the most powerful tower, and I do. Huh, yeah, that's an alright amount. Bruh, what do you mean it's alright? Well, it's just because I do. Bro, what can you come to Toilet Tower Defense to wreck all the bosses? Yeah, sure, why not? Bro, what is this dumb-looking black guy? Elmo, I'm literally better than all you combined. Pfft, okay, you weirdo. <laughs> Am I supposed to be meeting a scientist camera? Yeah, of course, bro, we both give cash. You don't really look like it, but okay, how much do you give? $1,000 per round, but I only cost $5,000, so it's pretty worth it. Wow, bro, what my max upgrade only gives $7,500 a round, but it costs over $100,000. For your price, you can get 20 of me, so you can make $20,000 per round. Wow, that's cool, but my only question is where do you get the money from? Well, I go into the White House using my invisibility potion I've made. I go into their top secret room and just turn on the money printer. Bruh, I'm actually being serious. Okay, okay. I trade the toilet souls with the devil for five cents per soul. That's a little more believable. Yo, what's up? I'm the BFB. Yo, I'm the boss toilet 2.0. Okay, which round do you spawn on? Oh, that's so early I spawn on. You must have a lot more health than me then. I don't know, man. I've got... Bruh, that's so trash. I've got... Well, yes, but one health in my game is equal to 100 in yours. Wait, what? So I'm actually equal to about 300k HP in your game. Well, yes, but I'm a toilet, so I'm cooler. There's nothing cool about being a toilet. Another businessman just like me. Yes, bro, we're epic. Yeah, but which one of us makes more money? I don't know, man. How much do you make? Well, I make $800 per round and also $1 for every bloon that comes in the game. And I also make bloons go down a tier to make stuff really easy. Doesn't that last one reduce the amount of money you make? Well, yes, but it's still very useful. Okay, I give the player $800 per round, but I can be spammed and also do 37 damage per second. You can only have one of me, but I cost only like $600 and I upgrade by myself so you don't need to pour money into me. Oh wow, that's really good for the price overall. I cost like $12,000 though. If you spam many of me, you get your money back quickly. Okay, I also make banks get like 15% more cash, but you can make more money in the late game. Yo, I'm the freezer. What's up? I'm the icicle impale. What do you do, bro? Well, I just shoot out giant Moab piercing attacks that do a lot of damage and freezing. My first path shoots out ice balls that have a frozen explosion AOE attack. And my second path has an absolute zero ability that freezes freezes enemies anywhere on the track for one second. Did anyone say absolute zero? Yeah, that's the name of my ability. Cool, that's literally my name and my ability's name. Oh, that's sick. What does it do? Well, it freezes all balloons on the screen, including Moabs, for 10 seconds and gives a 50% attack speed buff to all ice monkeys. Bro, that's so much freeze. Are you spammable? Well, no, not my tier 5, at least. Okay, that makes sense. I'm spammable and I'm quite cheap. How cheap? Wow, yeah, I'm about $30,000. Still better than spamming four of me. Yo, I'm the lead balloon. What's up? I'm the gargantuan. What does that shield do? Well, with the shield, I get 180 extra health, and I'm really slow, but when it gets removed, I become way faster and only have 100 health. I've got a shield kind of too, but it's just my lead layer that allows no normal attack to damage me. <laughs>
but I also don't have a lot of health like you. Yeah, 280 is a lot, but I also spawn way earlier than you, which is weird. I spawn on round 28. I'm earliest on wave 11. Yo, I'm the fastest bloon in my game. Oh, I'm quick, but I'm not the fastest. Yeah, we're the early game beasts. How fast can you get, though? Well, on round 999, I can literally go from the beginning of the map to the end in 0.1 seconds. What I don't believe that. Yo, I'm the actual fastest enemy in Tower Blitz. Cool, how fast are you? Let me show you. Bro, the what how? Bruh, I ain't that quick. Bruh, why am I meeting a head in a box? Dude, we're both the weakest enemies in our games. And which game are you from? Superbox Siege Defense. Wasn't it Skibidi Toilet Siege Defense? Well, yes, but the creator of Skibidi Toilet copyrighted the game and we had to change it. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Do you do any special things? What, of course not. I'm just a weak enemy. Okay, then how much health have you got? I don't know exactly, but the wiki says that it's low. Bruh. Mine is only one, so yours is probably higher. Yeah, and I actually take some beating to get oofed and you just get popped by a sharp object. At least I'm not based off a cringe series. Bruh. Didn't they just say you couldn't use the toilets? Well, yeah, but this is an old picture of me. I'm now in a box. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Do you do anything special? Well, no, I've just got a bunch of health. Same here, bro. How much health have you got? That's about as much as me I've got. Does your health increase with the rounds? What? No, who does that? I do at round 100. I have like 400 health. Wait, I just learned how to read and read on the wiki that I've got a special laser I shoot at the towers. Bruh. We are the metal boys. I am the downfall of all noobs. <laughs> I am the, uh... I don't do literally anything special. Bruh, haven't you got an immunity to any type of attacks? Well, no, I actually only two hits to get oofed, and my only special thing is that they need to be on the head. Yeah, you're kind of trash. Have you at least got a good amount of health? Well, no, the wiki only says that I've got low health, but I've also got a bigger version of myself, and I do good damage to the towers. Oh, I've got a bigger version of myself, too. You know, I'm the big black camo lead fast up DDT. Oh, that's cool. The only thing different from my little form is that I've got a new stomp ability that can stun towers. That's cool. I can't get attacked by bomb shooters. I can't get popped by non-camo seeing towers, and the towers also got to be able to pop lead. So that's only like 5% of the towers. Well, yes, but I spawn on round 90, so they've got time to get them. I've got pretty high health. What about you? Same here. I've got 400. Bruh, I'm a ninja too, but I haven't got any swords. If you don't have swords, then what do you use? Well, my top path just throws out eight shurikens. My middle path has an ability that slows down all balloons on the screen, and my bottom path shoots out a really powerful grenade at Moab's. That's cool, I've got three abilities too, and they just a heal, create a force field, and a slide towards the enemy. Okay, how much damage can you do? Well, I don't really know, since the wiki doesn't say. Bruh. But do you want to have a fight to see which types of attacks are better? Yeah, sure, you're easy stuff. Three, two, one, go! Uh-oh. Yo, I'm the sentry champion. What's up? I'm the sentry camera woman. What do you even have to do with a sentry? Well, I've got an ability that turns my head into a turret, and I can see where every toilet is, and I do 50 damage to it and stun it for a while. Ah, uh, so you're the sentry yourself. What I do is I spawn a bunch of sentries that explode after a while, and 50 damage is quite a bit, but my sentries do 100. I've also got another ability that spawns a bunch of cameramen and large cameramen. Oh, so we are about equal. Yo, I'm the fast box. How can a box even be fast? I've got a literal thruster on the back of me. A fast balloon makes less sense. Okay, fair enough. How fast are you? I don't know. To be honest, the wiki just says that I'm fast. Bruh. What about your health? Well, I've got pretty low health, but I can damage the units quite quickly. Okay, do you want to have a race to see how fast you actually are? Yeah, sure. Bro, that guy is actually so slow. Guys look a new enemy. Wait, what? Yo, what's up, man? I'm the Thunderman. Yo, I'm the VTSG. What do you do? Well, I've got six abilities. The first is a Titan punch onto the toilets. The second one is a sound wave that does good AOE. The third one is a thundercloud, which is insane for AOE too. The fourth one is a shock wave. The fifth one is a hammer. And the last one is a teleportation. That's pretty good. I've got five attacks, and four of them are made from different sacrifices of towers. <laughs> Bro, why am I meeting some arrows? Because I'm the worst ability from Blade Ball. Oh, so you're calling me the worst tower, fair enough, what do you do? I'm not saying that, but anyways, I'm just a simple literal dash and I'm free. Oh, I can be free too. Oh, are you trash like me too in this phase? What? No, I literally do an infinite amount of damage like this. 
Wait, what? Yeah, but I can't dash, so I guess you're better than me. Yo, what are you? I'm the blink ability from Blade Ball, and I just teleport the player. Oh, how much can you teleport them? Well, only a little bit, but I've got three charges before the cooldown comes, but it's a quick one, too. Oh, I can teleport anywhere on the map. Bro, what? That's so overpowered. Yeah, let me just show you how it works. Wait, how did you come here? It's so far away. Bro, I've got three charges and my cooldown. It's quick. It ain't that hard to happen. Wait, bro, how expensive are you? I cost like $300,000, but I've got a lot of damage in a black hole, so that's pretty good. Yo, what's up, man? What do you do? Yo, well, I just freeze the ball for five seconds or until someone hits it. Oh, that's kind of boring. I've got a whole thing of freezing everything on the map. All right, well, can you freeze this? Bro, what? You didn't even use an ability. How did you freeze it? My dude, I've literally got a freezing ice aura around me. Yo, what's up? What do you do? Well, I have a force field whenever I've hit a skull, and it allows none of the normal attacks to get through, and I do some more things, but those don't matter to you. Okay, and how long does your shield last for? I don't know, man. Let me check. So the shield is up for 6 seconds. Oh, that's kinda weak. Mine is up for 7.25 seconds. Bruh, how that ball is just simply not hitting the player with you? Well, yeah, that's the point. Nom, nom, nom. Yo, you look cool. What do you do? Oh, thanks. I've got a passive ability that gives extra speed and power whenever you get a kill up to five kills. Huh, that's cool. I just spawn whatever I kill back, but what if we combined our abilities? I don't know, man. I guess we could try it. A few inches later. All right, I've got the kills now. Let's see what I do. Huh, that looks just like before. No, bro, I notice a difference. It's 0.05% bigger. Bruh. Yo, I'm the telekinesis. Yo, I'm Psy, what do you do? Well, I just stop the ball for a few seconds and make it take another target. Oh, I do a lot more. I can literally make any balloon pop from the inside. Oh, bro, that's so powerful. Can you make the ball pop? I don't know, man. I guess I can try. Wow, let's go. I was able to pop it. Wait a minute, bro. Now there is no blade ball game. You ruined it for us. Bruh, you literally wanted it. Bro, are you even alive? Stop over-exaggerating, I just look like that. Okay, well, who are you? I'm the magma fruit from Blocks Fruits, and I've got the most powerful attack. Wow, okay, what are your attacks? Well, my first one is summoning two hand that clap together and deal damage to any enemies near. The second one is an eruption of a non-existent volcano from the ground wherever the player's cursor is, and a lava pool is left over for a couple of seconds. The third one creates a giant fireball that goes to wherever the cursor is pointed at. The fourth one are three meteors that go to where the cursor is and explode into the ground, which does a huge amount of damage. The fifth one is going under the ground and leaving magma pools on the ground, which is OP because you can stack them under a player. Is that everything you do? Well, no, let me just awaken myself. I look exactly the same, but now I've got five new abilities. The first one unleashes a massive amount of melting hot magma rocks, dealing heavy damage when everything hits, and leaving behind multiple magma puddles. The second one is a dash for the player leaking magma whilst doing it. And if they hit an opponent, they shoot multiple blasts of hot magma and then shoot a final stronger blast. That does a lot of knockback. In the third one, the player launches a large beast-like magma projectile that deals large damage and leaves magma puddles under it. The fourth one makes the player get a huge amount of magma and throw it towards the cursor, and when it hits the ground, it creates a gigantic explosion. The final one makes the player a beast out of magma. They can sit on and fly using them. Wow, that's cool. My abilities are throwing a fire cocktail on the ground, and the other one is buffing all towers on the screen using fire. Is that it? Yeah. Bruh, I just spoke for one minute straight, and you only tell me that. Can't do anything about the fact I'm simple and easy to use. Bruh. Yo, I was the best fruit in my game but I got removed. Bruh, I don't trust you. You just look like a kilogram. Exactly. I make my user heavier to make him stronger. Oh, how do you do that? Well, my first ability makes the player turn into a 10,000 kg monster and make an AOE attack around him. The second one makes the user 20,000 kg and he performs a stomp onto the ground, which makes a shockwave directed forward. And if any enemy gets hit, they get knocked back quite a bit. The third one makes the player 50,000 kg and it makes him perform a ground slam that makes an AOE attack near him. And that attack stuns all players that happen to be in it. The final one reduces the player's weight and makes him be able to fly up using an umbrella, though the player doesn't have much control over the direction it goes. Cool, and how much do you cost? 5,000 in game dollars or 50 Robux. I'm free and I'm literally a million times better. And how do you know you're so good? Well, it's just because I do... Wait, didn't I meet you already? Well, yes, but now I'm in my awakened form. Oh, what different does that do? 
Well, I've got five new abilities. The first one transforms the user into a giant golden Buddha with all the symbols and stuff, and a lightning will hit anyone near. Also, this makes the player take 50% less damage, and also jumping does damage to any enemy around you. The second one, the user slams his fist into the ground, and an explosion happens with a light thing. The third one, the user gathers up energy and shoots a giant laser out of their mouth doing good damage. The fourth one, the player rises up and shoots out multiple beams of light anywhere around him, and the enemy are completely stunned for three to four seconds. The last one makes the player dash forward, and if they hit an enemy with the dash, they take him and slam him into the ground. Cool, that's still nothing like me, but are you at least powerful? Yes, I'm considered to be one of the most powerful awakened fruits. Oh, wow, okay, then could you come help us pop the balloons? Yeah, sure, I love doing good deeds. Did the monkeys seriously resort to getting a fruit to pop us? I'm the most powerful awakened fruit, the Buddha fruit. Kid, you're never gonna be good at anything. <coughs> Yo, why am I meeting you again? Because I haven't told you about my awakened moves. Oh, I didn't know you had those. What do they do? Well, the first one is a dash forward and an explosion at the end of it that stuns enemies around it. The second one is a bunch of flames to wherever the cursor is that explode on contact and leave fire on the ground that deals tick damage to the enemy. The third one is a huge bubble that appears around the player and heals them, and it also acts as a barrier to any attacks and knocks back anything that comes near it. The fourth one is a dash, and if the dash hits a player, it will bring them up in a tornado-like spell using the phoenix powers and then crash them into the ground which deals explosive and fiery tick damage to the enemy. The fifth one is a full transformation to a blue and yellow phoenix which improves the other abilities and gives 10% extra damage and the player takes 15% less damage and this also allows you to fly around. And the final one is simply letting the user fly with no transformation by just adding some wings on them. Okay, but why do all the fruits gotta have so many abilities? I've only got two and I'm doing fine. Well, because we also have PvP, and it'd be very boring and predictable if we only had two attacks. Yo, I'm the Awakened Light Fruit. You could say I'm Awakened too, since I'm in my true Sun God form. Do you want to hear what I do? Yeah, sure. My first ability summons a bow and arrow made out of light, and when it hits a target, it does some really good stun and has good AoE damage. The second ability is a flashing light from the right hand of the player that you can aim, and if you do that properly, you can stun a target for a long amount of time. The third one are dashes into the air using the light powers that consecutively kick the target around and then smashes them onto the ground. The fourth one, the player summons a huge barrage of light beams falling from the air that create explosions, and this stuns any enemy being hit by it. And the fifth one turns the player into literal light and allows them to freely fly around. Bruh, that's so good compared to my upgrade, I just get a bit of extra damage. Do you want to combine together? Wait, we can do that? Yeah, of course. Wow, I wonder what abilities this bad boy has. Wait, so does that mean that I can just do this? Yo, what's up, nerds? Oh, another one of these ice fruits. Nah, bro, I'm more powerful than the blizzard. Oh, really? What do you do? Well, my first ability throws a bunch of ice shards that damage the enemy. The second one is a small surge of ice that deals damage and knocks back anyone it hits. The third one creates a bird made of ice and shoots it towards the cursor and freezes the enemies it hits. The fourth one turns the ground into ice so it freezes and damages anyone who steps on it. Is that all you do? Well, no, because I've also got an awakened form. So now that I'm awakened, I've got five new abilities. The first one creates a hurricane tornado thingy, which travels slowly towards the cursor and deals decent amount of damage and stuns the enemy. The second one is like in my first form, but bigger, a giant surge of ice that does knockback and huge damage. The third one launches a high-speed ice dragon into the air and it crashes into the ground and explodes into ice and stuns and damage all enemies near. The fourth one is called Absolute Zero. Hey, that's my name. And it unleashes a large wave of ice around the user, which frees freezes any enemy around him. That's kind of like what I do. The fifth one allows the player to both walk on water and to also skate fast on the ground, though you can't regenerate while you're in this ability. That last one is also kind of like what I do since I make towers be able to stay on water. That's cool. Have you only got two abilities? Well, yes, but they're quality. Let me show you what one of them does. Yo, are you that shadow guy? Nah, I'm the Dark Blocks Fruit. Oh, I haven't seen you before. What do you do? Well, my first ability is throwing dark rocks towards where the cursor is. The second ability is the creation of a black hole wherever the cursor is. And if anyone gets caught in it, it deals damage to them before they get launched away. The third one opens up a large black hole around the user, which causes damage to anyone who gets stuck in it. The final one for this form creates a giant orb of darkness, which gets launched towards the cursor and drags enemies inside of it and deals damage damage to them. Have you got an awakened form? Yeah, of course I do. 
So now in this form, my new first ability launches a small vertical slash towards the cursor that applies a small blinding effect to enemies and teleports the user near the target and does damage. The second one creates a black hole that uses dark tentacles in front of it, which stuns and pulls in targets as well as doing damage. The third one creates a giant black hole around the player that stuns targets and deals insane damage as the hole gets bigger. The fourth one is the creation of a black hole above the user, and it gets thrown to the ground, which explodes when it hits it and drags any enemies near as well as dealing damage to them. The final one is a simple teleportation so the user can avoid getting hit. Wow, that's cool. I only have five types of attacks and four of them I get from sacrificing different types of towers. What would happen if you sacrificed me? I don't know. Let's try it. Goo -goo -ga -ga. I just gave birth to a child. Yo, are you in your awakened form? Yeah, bro, I'm much better like this. Oh, okay, what do you do in it? Well, my first ability shoots five or six explosive blue sparks that go to the cursor and stun enemies if they hit them. The second one, the user fires an extremely fast beam of fire from their hands in the direction of the cursor, which deals damage and knocks back enemies and also leaves a tick damage effect on them. The third one makes the user launch themselves and nearby enemies into the air by using his flame powers and leaves a tick damage damage effect on them yet again. The fourth one is the creation of a massive orb of fire, which gets thrown and explodes whenever it hits a surface, which deals a huge amount of damage and leaves tick damage yet again. The final one allows the user to dash forward and fly for a little bit with all right speed. All right, well, I just shoot out a meteor towards the balloons and have a normal fire attack. Whose fire do you think is stronger? I don't know, man. Do you want to test it? Yeah, sure. What does sand have to do with my attacks? I don't know, man. What are your attacks? Well, I just shoot out a giant tornado that pushes back balloons. Oh, I know why. Some attacks of mine just shoot out a sand tornado. Oh, okay. What are all your attacks? Well, the first one is just a burst of sand shot right in front of the user, which knocks back anything it hits. The second one makes a circle of quicksand that pulls a target once stepped on, and it pulls them into the air and crushes them. The third one is a sand tornado that gets created in front of the player, and if any enemy gets hit by it, it gets stunned and carried carried up into it and then back down. The fourth one creates a ball of sand and the user shoots it at the enemy. The fifth one makes the player turn into sand, which allows him to fly slowly. Bro, what? How have you got so many attacks? Oh, that's not it. I've also got an awakened form. So now, my first ability creates a long-range, high-speed burst of sand in a straight line in front of the player, and it launches up anything it hits and deals good damage with a small stun. The second one, the player throws two piles of sand, and if they hit an opponent, they will carry him higher and higher into the air while trapping them inside and stunning them, and finally it will explode and let them out whilst doing good damage. The third one makes the player create a giant sandstorm, and if anyone gets hit by it, they'll get stunned and pushed into the air. The fourth one makes the player create create a lightning vortex like ball of sand from their hands and throw it at the enemies and it explodes on contact which does huge AOE damage and the final one turns the player into a little flying sandball yet again but this one is a bit faster at flying. Having so many abilities is useless. I'd rather just have one good one just like myself. Pew! Bro you can't tell me that glue has anything to do with a spider. Yes it does. We both stun enemies using stickiness. Asterisk Psy asterisk okay bro just tell me your attacks. Well I'll only tell you my awakened moves since those are the good ones. The first one is a slash of four fiery blades made out of hot strings that do good damage. The second one shoots out strings at an enemy and traps them inside of them with a cage and the player can decide when to stop the cage and when he does the enemy gets damaged instantaneously. The third one summons giant white spears of strings that leave out of the ground and go to the closest enemy doing a bunch of damage. The fourth one shoots out hundreds of small red and white strings insanely quickly that do decent damage and stun. And the last ability makes the player turn into Spider-Man, and they can just jump around with the strings. Okay, well the only thing I do is that I stun any Moab-class balloon under a bad, but you're a spider so you're able to not get stuck in your strings, right? Yeah, of course. Okay then, can you get unstuck from my glue? Pew! Wait bro, remove it, I can't move. Michael! Don't leave me here! <laughs> My God. My God. Help me. Yo, hopefully you're at least a bit similar to me. Bro, we're both bombs. I can't not be similar to you. Okay then, man, what do you do? Well, my first ability is a bomb that I can target wherever I want and make it explode whenever I want. Huh, that's exactly what I do. The second ability is a player turns into a bomb, so if he hits something else, he makes an explosion. That's kind of like my bomb blitz path. The third one creates a minefield that only the player can see, and if an enemy steps on a landmine, it explodes. Yo, that is quite literally what I do. The fourth one 
is that if you hold down a key, it takes the player's health until you stop holding it, and it makes a giant explosion around the player. That's kind of like my bomb blitz ability taking lives to be able to activate. And the fifth one is jumping into the air whilst making an explosion under yourself. Yeah, I haven't got anything like that, but do you have any set damage amount? Now that's not the way my game works. I know we technically can't do this, but what would happen if I ate you? I don't know, man. You can try it, I guess. Nom, nom, nom. Wow, so now I'm the bomb blitz, but now I can use the ability with a click of a button. <gasps> wow, that's overpowered. I can literally just take one life and I can pop anything under a bat on the screen. I guess I'm the best tower now. Think before you say anything, my dude. Yeah, bro, you can't just say stuff like that. Bruh. Nothing gets past my bow. Bro, I don't even have anyone handling me and I'm still probably better than you. <laughs> Show me that, bro. What do you do? Well, my first ability is a fast purple arrow that explodes on impact and summons three little arrows that chase the nearest target. The second one is a medium-speed purple projectile that chases targets for a while, and when it does hit them, it stuns them. That's all right, but it's worse than me. Of course it is. I've got an ability that doubles my attack speed and another one that makes arrows come from the sky onto the balloons. All right, then. If you're so good, what is this footage? 朋友是一个坚韧不拔的纪录片,在香港这座城市的社区. Fair enough, mate. Dang, sis, you be looking very pretty. Thank you, but I'm male. Oh, whoops, okay, who are you? Well, I'm the light fruit from Blocks Fruits. Oh, okay, are you good in your game? I don't know, since the creator of this video doesn't play the game. Bruh. Okay, well, what do you do? Well, my first ability just shoots a beam of light. That's exactly the name of my second ability. The second teleports the player upwards and shoots 15 beams of light. The third one is just a fancy mirror using technique to teleport the player where they want. The fourth one is sending a big amount of light from the sky. The fifth one turns the player into light and makes them fly forwards. That's pretty good. My first ability makes my light even more powerful, and my level 10 ability shoots beams of light from the sky onto the balloons. I've got five and you've only got two? That's trash. Well, yeah, of course you're made for hunting demons. I just pop balloons. You look like you got drunk last night. Bruh, I'm the most powerful fruit in my game. Oh, same here, bro. You don't really look like it, TBH. Bruh. Okay, man, what do you do? Well, my first ability is a jump with an bolt towards where the player wants it to go. The second ability is a dash forward with all these portals that teleport the player somewhere else. The third one is entering an alternate dimension that turns a player invisible and invincible, and you can move around freely, and it stuns any player near you for a bit. The fourth one is a cool portal that you can use to teleport to anywhere on the map. The fifth one makes a portal to a different dimension and pulls in other players that are near him, and they get put into a flat dimension, and the only egg exit is at the top of it. The sixth one is a short-range teleportation move that just makes two portals and teleports you to the one you're pointing at. Wow, you're pretty complex and powerful, but my power is just one dart and infinite amounts of damage. The what did you just say? <laughs> Bruge, what does being a pirate have to do with flame? I'm literally from Blocks Fruits. The main thing is the search for a pirate chest or something. Oh, that makes more sense. I wonder if you do similar things to me. Well, my first ability shoots out flaming arrows that can hit multiple targets at once. My second ability throws a fist-shaped flame projectile. My third ability makes the player slam the ground, which makes a little fire tornado around him. And if anyone gets stuck inside of it, they start taking lots of damage. The fourth ability is a giant fiery ball that the player can throw and even charge up. And whenever it hits a surface, it explodes and does immense amounts of damage. My final one turns the user into a fireball and lets them fly. Wow, those are some pretty cool abilities, but I especially like the fourth one since it's exactly like what I do. I fire a fireball that explodes whenever it hits a target. Are you good in your game? Heck yeah, I am. Yo, are you a phoenix just like me? Heck yeah, I am. Let's go, bro. What do you do? Well, my first ability is a flaming blow that has insane amounts of knockback to the enemy. The second one is regeneration flames around me that help me regain my health that I've lost. My third one is a kick that dashes forward and anyone in the way takes all right amounts of damage. The fourth one is a full transformation into a flying phoenix that gives the player 15% defense buff and allows him to fly. The fifth one is similar to the last one, but it's only a half hybrid. So no defense buff is given, but you can still fly and it doesn't drain any energy. That's got literally nothing to do with me. I've got a passive phoenix around me, and my ability turns me into a more powerful version of the phoenix. Do you want to see which phoenix is more powerful? Yeah, sure. 
Weak. Yo, what's up, Buddha? What's up? Are you a monk too? Of course I am. Cool, what do you do? Well, I catch the balloons using my mind waves and pop them. My abilities stun the balloons, and the other one also pops every single balloon on the screen under a bad. What about you? Well, my first ability turns the player three times their size and makes them 40% slower. But with five times more reach, the second one creates a giant shining explosion when you touch the ground that damages enemies around you. The third one is a jump and an El Primo onto wherever your cursor is. And the fourth one is a charge up for 0.5 seconds and then a giant explosion from the plie air that does immense damage. That's cool, but it's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, because you've got nothing to do with power. Are you sure about that? Be gone! I am the cold. Same here, bro. It's a bit cold for me, though. What kind of things do you do, bro? Well, the first ability is a snow shuriken that explodes on impact and can shoot up to six of these shurikens. The second one is a medium-sized snow tornado that carries and pushes enemies and then launches them into the air and also stuns them. The third one is a large, powerful whirlwind, stunning and damaging enemies while sending them up. The fourth one is sucking enemies near you while charging up a giant snow dome attack that gets summoned and causes insane amounts of damage to enemies. The fifth one is riding on a snow tornado while damaging and pushing enemies near it. That's cool. I'm able to make towers stand on water and my ability just freezes all balloons on the screen for a couple of seconds. That's like nothing you've got so little abilities. Well yes, but I've got quality and you've just got quantity. Show me. Wait, how did I just freeze an ice cube? What is this weak looking shadow guy? Bruh, watch you on about I'm one of the most expensive. And I'm literally the most expensive. Bro, what, what do you do? Well, I just shoot out powerful blasts and also have four types of different attacks and the player can add each depending on how much cash they spend on certain categories of towers. What about you, bro? Well, my first ability turns the player into a small dark orb of shadow and dashes towards the cursor when it touches anything, the player turns into bats and damages the enemy. The second ability shoots out a swarm of bats that explodes on impact. The third one is a lunge forward and if it hits an enemy, the player gains 20% health and deals a good amount of damage. The fourth one turns the player into a massive black hole and it explodes and it does insane damage and leaves a swarm of bats that do passive damage. The fifth one turns the player into a swarm of bats and allows him to fly around. That's cool, but it's kind of trash. I just gave you my life story and you say it's trash. L plus ratio. Wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> Wait, but can you talk? Yes. Okay, well, what are you? Well, I'm the spin fruit from Blocks Fruits. Oh, you're just a simple fruit. Can I eat you? What? No, I'm a different type of fruit. Okay, how? Well, whenever someone eats me, I give them special powers. Okay, so does that mean I can eat you? Well, if you didn't have the power I give already, yes, you could. But if you do right now, I'd just be a poorly tasting fruit. Okay, cool. Are the sword power you give any good? Well, they aren't actually swords. It's just using your hand as ones. But I'll show you them and you can be the judge. The first one is many wind slashes to anyone in front of the player. The second one, the player can turn into a tornado and attack anyone with it. The third one is stronger air slashes. And the fourth one is helicopter flight using the hands. Okay, those seem pretty cool. But to be honest, they seem weak, and you do completely different things from me. Yo, I'm literally named the chop, so I should be doing something similar to you. Okay, then let's see. Firstly, I make the player immune to all sword attacks. Okay, that's a good start. And my first ability makes the player separate his torso with his upper body and throw it forwards. Okay, nope. That's completely different from me. 